The Astros, the Angels vying for the top spot in the AL West. They've both been very active this week at the trade deadline. There's still maybe a move or two left for both teams. But if we're just to take this as the end of it, how would you grade out the Astros? How would you grade out the Angels if you're giving them a letter grade like we did in school? Well, uh, you know, they have impressed me in all levels, you know, not only with the field, you know, the play on the field, but off the field, acquiring and addressing all different issues and weaknesses. They got pitching, you know, Casimir came in to help. Fires now coming in, and now we have Carlos Gomez to, to, to help that lineup already producing. I give him an A, and possibly soon enough to be members of the National Honor Society if another move is made. <laughs> <laughs> the uh, fires thing kind of snuck up on everybody. I mean, look, getting Scott Casimir was great. G getting a. Carlos Gomez was a. great. They got Already. fires a strike out an inning with controllable years left. I agree with Carlos. I think they did great. And, you know, Jeff Luno said, look, even though we were ahead of our timeline, sometimes you have to adjust. And we're ahead of our timeline, so I'm adjusting. We're going to try to win this year. We're not just sticking on our paper plan of saying, well, 2017 to be fine. They have a chance to go very far this year. I, I, I agree with you 100%. And I don't know if they're done necessarily to Houston Astros, but we can can we dive into Anaheim? Go for it. Because I'm a little stricter on my grading scale. I don't know if people are aware of this, but I went to UPenn and I was probably the dumbest guy in every class I ever attended there. So they went out. I'm going to be a little tough. They went out and collected David Murphy. David DeJesus, David Murphy, by the way, having a great year. 296 with five dingers. Shane Victorino, everything he's been. He's played in the biggest markets, on the biggest stage, and, pr and produced. But he's not that player anymore. He's getting a little older as well. And you see right here, I'm a little tough. I'm going to give you a C minus, Mike wow. Shosa and staff, just because I feel like they have as good a chance as any. Andrew Heaney stepped up, Hector. Um, who am I looking for? Santiago. The, Santiago. He stepped up and has pitched well. Garrett Richards is the number one that could, could match up. I just look at their lineup last night. Albert Pujols, and, and this, I knew the type of player I was and where I should hit in the order. Eric Ibar, you're asking him to hit fifth behind Albert Pujols, and you have guys like Cespedes, and you have guys like Carlos Gonzalez. I, I, we're taking money out of it. Guys like Carlos Gonzalez, those two guys are capable in a month in two months of putting a team on their back, especially Carlos Gonzalez with what he's been able to do. And De, De Jesus, the collection of De Jesus, David Murphy, and Shane Victorino, they don't, I don't think they're capable of that. So I love the moves. They help the Anaheim Angels. But the big punch behind Albert in that five hole with a guy like Cespedes or a guy like Carlos Gonzalez, I, I, I think they're missing the boat.